It is Sunday. It is 10 a.m. You know what that means? It's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams episode. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Just want to quickly say a massive thank you for all the support on this series so far. If you would be so kind as to leave a like on this episode, if we get a thousand likes, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, I just want to say, like, between me pronouncing names wrong, um, not reading who's untradeable and who's tradable and getting things wrong all the time, you guys still watch the series and still show support, so I'm very grateful for that. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate everything you guys have done for me and continue to do for me. Uh, I'm beyond grateful. I really am. And I just thought I'd say that because I don't think I say that enough. I just really am grateful for the support you guys show me. Anyway, we're going to start off with Colo Torre's team, the Colo Torre. I've got 80,000 coins, and I switched to a 4-2-3-1 in-game with Traore, Lam, and Anderson Ram. Everyone is untradeable, the bench included, except for Lacazette and wan -Bissaka. Okay, all right, I feel it, I feel it. By the way, what a game wan had today. I thought he was really good. Um, well, yesterday for you guys now, but it's still today for me. Um... That's a really interesting team. So you, you switch to a 4 2 3 one I like Valbuena. Uh, that's a sick in, uh, addition to the squad. And getting him a full chemistry is also great. Um, Milner doesn't look like a bad card. I'm not the biggest fan of Milner, but he doesn't look horrendous. I think with Milner, you could swap Milner out and get somebody else there at right CDM. Uh, do you say how many coins that you had? You've got 80,000 coins. You could go with an inform Fabinho there. I think he'd probably be a little bit better than James Milner. Um, I know Milner was fairly expensive as an SBC, but personally, I just think that um, I think he'd be better off with a better CDM there. Aside from that, I think the team is really, really good. If you have any icon swap tokens left as well, you could go and actually change out Wambasaka for Zambrotta. That'll allow you to free up maybe 30, 40, 50k, however much Wambasaka is, uh, as his wants to watch item too. Uh, but apart from that, I actually really like the team and I like the setup as well. I think that's a really, really cool team. Uh, maybe just go ahead and do uh, do the Odegaard objectives so you've got some depth in the squad for, for Cam if you need it. I see you've got Ryan Kent on the bench as well, who's really, really good. Um, but no, I think that team is really, really cool, man. I like that team a lot. Next one coming from Connor. He said, hey, dude, uh, the untradables are Robertson, Carlos, Hierro, Van der Sar, the whole bench and reserves uh, going for the mid-icon pack to test my look. Got 450k currently. What do you suggest? Well, good luck with the mid-icon pack. I feel bad. I always feel bad when I see people get like an untradable left back when they've already got an untradable left back that they use and stuff. But the team is still really, really cool. Um, I like the I like the team. I'm not the biggest fan of playing people off chem. I wonder if uh, Roberto Carlos is still, what's the word? good enough i guess in this day and age um looking at it though i see what you're playing uh i would actually personally play robertson at left mid uh, left center mid and alexander arnold at right back now the reason that is because uh alexander arnold's right footed um whereas robertson's left footed i feel like i think robertson's only got three star weak foot uh i could be mistaken and if i am mistaken i do apologize uh but i feel like he's got bad weak foot uh, let me just double check that information. Two star week for even worse, uh, which means that if you get the ball with Robertson and you need to play a right footed pass to Kante or Hierro, he might mess that pass up a lot of the time. And that could cost you in the final third of your own uh, half, uh, which would be very disappointing. Whereas I think that Alexander Arnold won't make those mistakes, with, especially with passing. You know how good Alexander Arnold is at passing. Um, and I think that Robertson would be better as a, as a box to box engine midfielder too, uh, which would be really cool over there on that left center mid spot. Uh, I see you playing Mane off chem now. A lot of you guys said in the last episode that you think that seven and eight chemistry is completely fine. Um, I'm going to start easing off on on being so uptight with people being off chemistry. Uh, you guys seem to to feel that that you know you you don't mind people being off chemistry. So as long as you guys don't mind people off chemistry, I'm going to you know ease off on on how much I push to get people on full chemistry. And I think I'll uh, I think I'll uh, you know take a back seat as you will, uh, with the uh, the whole chemistry debacle. Uh, so, you know, I'm not going to tell you to change Mane or anything like that in the squad. Uh, I actually like the squad a lot. Now, you said you had, you, did, uh, you said 450k. Realistically, the only upgrades I can think that you can make with this team is probably Zola. Uh, now, is Zola untradeable? Robertson, okay, so Zola is not untradeable. How much is that Zola currently going for? Um, it's prime Zola as well. He's got good stats, don't get me wrong, but for 1.2 million coins, I think you can get a better cam. I really do. Um, especially, I mean, if I were you, I'd play Messi at cam and get yourself a new striker. With 1.2 million coins, uh, a great option, in my opinion, is uh, Stoichkov. Uh, Stoichkov's baby card is a great, great striker in this game. Um, I really like him on, on this game so far. Uh, another great option for, for, for striker, you know, or even as a cam, I think baby Maradona, I, I think he's cheap enough. 
If I've got, oh my god, he's he's nowhere near cheap enough. I do apologize. Um, wrong, wrong choice by me there. But for 1.2 or 1.3 million coins, in my opinion, you can get someone better than Zola. Uh, so I would possibly look for either a better cam slash striker. I think Messi would play better as your uh, central cam and then Zola better as a, a, as a striker and then obviously replacing Zola with somebody else. Uh, have a look. Have a look sort of what plays you can go for and what you like the look of, really. Uh, and obviously, if you just prefer Zola, then keep Zola. Apart from that, I mean, mate, that team is just not a flex, isn't it? It's just a great team. Um, nonetheless, uh, moving on, we have got Johnny Lindsay's team. I've got 100,000 coins and everyone, including the benches, on tradable apart from Mendy. Either going for Essien or the mid icon pack in swaps, but I don't know. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Okay. All right. I, I, I like this team. I, I'm feeling it. I love that perfect link between... Uh, between David Villa and and Iniesta. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, what would I do with this team is a good question. I am not a huge supporter of Adama Traore starting. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest advocate for that. Now, the reason why I say that, and, and I'm not the biggest advocate of this either, I think that your better option here is playing Michi Batshuayi at striker and getting yourself a different right mid. Uh, in terms of who you can go for, you do have the option to go for a Brazilian strong link over here. How many coins did you say you had again? You had 100,000 coins. You could go for a Brazilian strong link. Um, you could also go for just a Spanish player as well. Um, I'm sat here thinking that you could also swap Mendy with Roberto Carlos, that gets Orsic on full chemistry, and go with a right mid that's French, maybe an Ousmane Dembele. Wouldn't be the worst option in the world. Um... So what I would say is have a have a look at sort of options that you think you'd uh, you'd like. I would say a great option would be swapping over Mendy with Roberto Carlos and then getting yourself Usman Dembele as a right mid and keeping Adama as a super sub. I just don't think that he would be a, a great starter in comparison to other players. Now that I know that's gonna that's gonna be really controversial, but the way I look at this this team, you have five attackers here. Um, you know, another option you could go with, really, I don't mean to click on Maradona here, uh, another option you can go with, it would be playing a player off chemistry, but you could go with this card. Um, this guy's got a really, really nice uh, right wing card, Nijgalan, who could play as a more defensive box-to-box -box over here on the right, um, which would help you out as well. Um, I think that could be a decent option uh, if you're looking for uh, if you're looking for another option over here on the, on the right-hand side. I just think that four attackers... In a four and two and two narrow, or even five attackers, really. I think Iniesta is a bit of an attacker. I don't think it works personally, um, especially when your CDM has got like seventy-two pace. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of this midfield setup at all. Um, but I mean, I think this is something you've got to figure out for yourself and sort of who you enjoy using the most. Uh, I don't want to sit here and. Uh, I don't want to sit here and, and, and tell you to get rid of Adama if you love Adama over Batshuayi because realistically you could just swap out Batshuayi and get yourself another midfielder if you love ba if you love Adama over Batshuayi. That's that's sort of what not what I'm trying to do here. Um, so that's also another option for you. You could swap out Batshuayi and get yourself a uh, a centre mid and play him at striker and then swap him in game. Um, apart from that though, I love the uh, I love the the use of of objective players and SPC players and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's really really cool. Um, and you got some really nice players on the bench as well to. Uh, to work into the squad at any point as well. So yeah, that's really cool. Uh, moving on now, if I can get out of this, uh, we have got Ashton's team. Second pick is in game. I'm going to get storyline at Kanji. And I'm not doing swaps. Open to suggestions. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. Um, interesting. How many coins did you say you had? None. You didn't say you had any coins. Uh, I think, first of all, you could upgrade Tagliafico to his headliner card. I'm almost certain he's got his headliner card. and I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, he does. He has a really nice looking headliner card as well. It's pretty cool for those that didn't do this uh, objective. I feel like this card is a great card to get. Um, for those that didn't do the objective, it just makes you feel a bit better. And with, with a good chem style, for example, something like a powerhouse uh, or even just an anchor, uh, a backbone would be pretty good as well. I think even a sentinel would be pretty good. He gets a 92 rated uh, left back. Um, so just upgrading the uh, 84 to the headline is going to be a pretty good option. Um, I like the perfect link between a kanji and Berkey. Obviously, you're going for that a kanji card. I think that's really, really cool. Um, what else do I think you could do here? Good, good suggestion here. Um, I think you could replace Bernardo Silva. 
Uh, you know, I see why you've got him, but I think that you could replace him with, with a better right mid. Sword a bit more pacey. Maybe an informed version of Mares would be a decent option there. Um, you know, I think that'd be a, a pretty cool play you could go with uh, over here on the right mid spot. In terms of Premier League right mids, I mean, there's people like Sterling, uh, like I said already, Mares. Um, who are the, like, I'm pretty sure there's other options. Uh, obviously, I don't think you have that Dharma Traore. Yeah, you don't have Dharma Traore. Uh, what else is there? Mohamed Salah as well. Mohamed Salah is a great option as well. Um, Inform Pepe if you're looking for a player like that. Uh, who else is there? Uh, even just normal Pepe or Inform Adama Traore if you're looking for that. Um, there's a lot of different options in my opinion that you could upgrade with and have a better right mid than Bernardo Silva in my opinion. Apart from that, the rest of the team is really solid. I really like the rest of the team. I think it's really, really good. Well built in the right places and uh, I like the Swiss link over here. I think that's really cool. Uh, moving on, we have got Kian's team who said, this is my team. I've got 100k to spend. Everyone is trade uh, everyone is untradeable, sorry. Keep it the great work. Thank you very much, man. It's a nice and tradable team. See Luka Jovic. My friend did Luka Jovic actually this morning. Said he, he really liked him. So uh, I, I think that, that card is actually a really cool card. Um, looking at this team, what could you do with it? I think that a must is getting that El Shadawe card. I, I'm, I'm, I feel like I say this card wrong, by the way. Is it El Shadawe? Yeah, El Shadawe. I think I say El Shadawe. El Shadawe. This card would be a pretty cool addition to the squad. Um, he would get the same chemistry as Di Maria, but uh, I think it'd be a great, a great addition. Get, get, you know, two links instead of one. Um, five star skills, really nice stats in game. Uh, that would be a nice addition to your squad here. Uh, in terms of how you play, this is actually a really interesting formation. I've, I don't really see a whole lot of people playing this. Um, obviously, I think the next step is probably upgrading Wijnaldum to a better right centre mid. Um, you've got the perfect link already with uh, Trent and Gomez. So you can go with literally anyone there. You could go with that SBC Phillips from the championship. You'll get the strong link to Gerard and the orange links to both uh, Gomez and Trent. And that'll allow you to get full chemistry on him as well. And I think that'd be a good option. I think maybe upgrading, or oh, sorry, swapping out to Stegen with Courtois wouldn't be the wrong option. I have always said this, goalkeepers on 8 chem make more mistakes than goalkeepers on full chemistry. Uh, I don't know if that's just a case of coding in the game or what but i always notice it and a lot of you guys said that you noticed it as well last last episode um so i think that courtois would be better option on full chem or even laris uh laris is fantastic this year as well than uh than to stay again on a chemistry but apart from that yeah i think i think get spc phillips from the championship and get yourself el shadarway from from uh from uh, level 15 of the catalog and uh, and I think your team is massively improved mate. Uh, the next one coming from Kieran Huckabee who says Hi Haber, love your videos, keep up the great work. I have 100,000 coins. Untradables are Orsic, Ian Wright, Alan Shearer, Bastian, uh, Hierro, Nabri, Bernardo Silva uh, is alone. I'm trying to find a way to fit Jovic in. Okay. Alright. I like this team actually. This, that's really cool actually. I like the way you're getting uh, Orsic on chemistry. I'm not sure about Alan Shearer but I like the way you're getting him on chemistry. Um... What would I say with this team? Trying to find a way to get Jovic in the squad. Uh, I think the only way you can get Jovic in the squad is by sacrificing chemistry somewhere. Um, now, you could either just bring in Jovic instead of Alan Shearer, straight up swap those, and then swap... Um, no, I was going to say swap Kimmich and Bastian. Uh, but that wouldn't work, would it? Huh... Yeah, I mean, I think the best option you can do here is probably swap Shearer and and Jovic. Um, hmm. Mm, maybe go into a four three two one to start. Uh, let's have a quick look at how that would play out. Let me just. I just want to double check that because I'm not 100 percent sure on on how I'd do that. So a four three two one. Where are we looking? Here we go. Um, so we're looking at, I would say, Kimmich right here, uh, because he gets the, the perfect link with Nabry. Um, Ian Wright here. Where is he? There he is. Ian Wright. Orsic over at left forward. Uh, Jovic starting over here. Um, and then Bastian over here. Now, we're looking at chemistry. Obviously, Jovic will get a link down here. Lo Jovic will need another link. So maybe maybe getting yourself uh, Varan. You said you had 100,000 coins, right? Um, yeah, you have 100,000 coins. 
Can you afford Varane with 100k? I don't think you can. I think saving up for Varane is probably your better option here. Saving up for Varane. He's only an extra 60k or if you're on Xbox, 20k. Which you are on Xbox, so it's only an extra 20k. Um, yeah, so I'd say save up for, for Raphael Varane. Um, yeah, okay. There you go. And then then you go with Varane. Varane at left centre back over here. Uh, Mendy over here. Uh, then you've got uh, Hierro Kimmich. Uh, over here, and uh, you don't have Kimmich, you have Klosterman, sorry, um, there, and then you've got Ariola in there. So I would start, I think this is the best way uh, to get yourself the most possible chemistry that you can. Um, yeah, I think that's the best way you get the most possible chem that you can. Uh, and then the only people off chemistry here is actually Orsic. He's the only one off chem. He gets eight, uh, he will get eight chemistry with a, a manager and uh, and loyalty, um, which I think you can apply here. So that's loyalty and that's a manager. No, it's not. Uh, I don't know where manager is. Uh, where's manager? Anyway, gets gets full chemistry basically. Um, right here. So you, you'll get eight chemistry on Orsic. Everyone else gets full chem. Um, and I think that's the best way you can get everyone starting on full chem. So I would go with that, to be honest. Uh, apologies if you if you didn't want me to go through all of that, by the way. Uh, I think that's going to be a scuffed screenshot. Oh, no, it's actually it's actually all right. So uh, I have 40k. Uh, what should I do next? All non-SBC cards are all tradable except Robertson. Keep with the good work. Thank you very much, man. So you've got uh, 40k, I'm guessing, after you buy these players. All non SBC cards are are all non SBC cards are all tradable except Robertson. Okay, all right, we're on the same page. What would I do with this team? I would say, I think you get better chemistry if you go. Oh, wait, no, actually, I think what you do here is I think you go for a four three three three, like this. I know, I know, we're going back to here. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Um, I think you get better chemistry if you do this though. You go with this formation and then you have over here Milner uh, as your left CDM. You have Seydorf over here um, as your as your central centre mid. You've got Ben Yedder up top. Uh, you've got your left wing who gets full chemistry because he gets a strong link with Ben Yedder. Um, and then Adama gets the link over here to uh, Jimenez. And only player off chemistry then is going to be Jimenez who gets eight chemistry to CDM uh, as your right CDM over here. Um, but I think that you play this because it just it gets more people on chem than off chem. Here, I think that you've got uh, two players off chemistry, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Well, you've only got Ben Yedder off chemistry. Um, I guess you're just sacrificing Ben Yedder's chemistry for, um, for Jimenez's, really. Whichever one you think you prefer on chemistry, uh, realistically. But no, I think that team's nice. Now, you've got 40k to improve. What would I do with this team? I mean, if, you're play if you plan on playing Jimenez actual as a centre mid... I wouldn't. I would play Jean Moutinho. Uh, that'll also allow you to get yourself full chemistry with Nelson Semedo um, if you change to a 4 3 3 3. Because um, I wouldn't play him as, as a centre mid. I'd play him as a cam or a striker, mainly a striker. Uh, what else would I do with this team? I mean, this team is actually nice, though. Just maybe upgrading to a better version of Ben Yedder in the future. Um, same with Gomez, maybe eventually upgrading to a Van Dyke, you know, months down the line. Um, but the team's nice, mate. Next one coming from Shoy, who says 100k. I'm guessing that's how much, you, how much you've got. Mendy, Ariola, Martial, tradable, bench untradable. What next? I'm thinking about 91 Sane. Love the vids. Thank you very much, man. 91 Sane. I don't see where you get chemistry with 91 Sane, but I mean, it's not the worst option. Um, what would I do here? I would personally. Uh, I would go with Norbeto Neto in net. I'll go Neto in net, get the strong link with uh, with your uh, your left centre back. I would then put Alwa as your central centre mid, uh, and Griezmann as your left centre mid. That just gets everyone on full chem, um, apart from apart from Mohamed Salah. I would also, if you're looking at getting Sane, uh, I would change up the team to get yourself maybe a Fabinho in the team um, or a Pogba. Uh, to get Sane in the team as well. I don't think Sane is a bad option, but I think you've got to do a lot of changes to the team to get him in. So you've got to you've got to have the team ready for when you actually get Sane, in my opinion. So I would work on getting the players that you want to get before getting Sane, and then work on Sane. Uh, but I don't think I don't think he's a bad shout. I think he's a very good player. Uh, the next one coming from Harrison. I've got 350k. Um, 
Untradables are Sanchez and the CBs, and the Untradables uh, and the Untradables on the bench are all specials. Was looking to get Politano as I'm very near completed the league SBC for Tonali. That's fair enough. Uh, I mean, yeah, I would I would go for it 100%. That will give you a link over to Smalling um, and then get yourself Politano. That would be a great, great addition to your squad, in my opinion. Uh, that team's actually really cool. Uh, in terms of where I'd go next, obviously getting Milinkovic Savic from the uh, from the catalogue uh, or the, or the uh, what, what do you call it? The season objectives. Um, getting Milinkovic Savic is definitely a great option. You could possibly look at Domin Dominguez. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, how do you, how do you say it? I think it's Dominguez. You could possibly look at this card in the near future, or the the far future, should I say, um, as a as an eventual card. Uh, you know, to to replace maybe a normal Allen, eventually bring in this card because this card looks really, really, really good. Um, uh, that wouldn't be a, a horrendous shout. You know, saving up for in the in the future. But yeah, I think getting Tonali, get yourself Politano, great additions to the squad. Uh, and then when you get those, maybe getting a different right back. Um, in terms of right backs, though, the Serie A doesn't e doesn't have a whole lot of right backs. I don't think. Um, did we get? I'm pretty sure we got an inform one recently, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I can't remember. I know we had a few SBCs in a row, like Quadrado, Malqui. Uh, no, we didn't get an inform one. Um, yeah, the, the Serie A just has a a whole lot of lacking in terms of right backs. If you do icon swaps, maybe Zambrotta's the play for your right back. Um, but yeah, no, the team is actually sick. I like that team a lot. I, I love that Smalling card. He's great with the Shadow on. He's fantastic. Really, really like that card. And the last one for this episode is going to be from John, who says, I play a 4-2-3-1 in game and I've got 290k looking to do more icon swaps because I have 11 tokens already. By the way, all objective and SBC cards are untradeable with Ismane, Dembele, Vieri, Semedo, and Ben Yedda, uh, willing to grind for more icons. Uh, sorry, for more coins, sorry. Um, so you're willing to do icon swaps. Now... Looking at this team, I think a play you benefit straight away from from Icon Swaps would be Raul. Um, I think another one you benefit from would be Del Piero. I think Lineker wouldn't be a bad shout. Uh, I think just a striker in general would be a good option to bring into the squad. I love the link on the left-hand side. That Alfonso Davies and uh, and Perisic link is actually really cool. I think that's great. Um, so GG's on that. Uh, I love the, the defense as well. The defense is great. The whole back line is fantastic. In fact, the way this team is set up is really good. I'm a big fan of this. Maybe getting Baby Blanc wouldn't be a bad shout. Maybe replacing Suzoko with Baby Blanc uh, wouldn't be a horrendous shout. You're only four tokens away from that. Um, aside from that, I don't see a whole lot of upgrades you can do with this squad. Uh, if you replace Suzoko with Baby Blanc, maybe just going down that right side and get yourself... Uh, Get yourself a better right-sided uh, player. Maybe upgrading Usman Dembele eventually to his uh, special card. Or maybe getting Messi. Um, or even maybe going an icon, you know. Uh, either of those could be a good option. But this team is really nice and well-built. So I like that a lot, man. I do like that team a lot. Uh, and that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for your epic support recently. Much love to all of you guys. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.